After a little over a year, I finally hit 10,000 miles on my Tesla Model Y performance. I've put this car through its paces, and now I want to take some time to share my thoughts on this car and how it's held up over the past year, along with all of the maintenance expenses. I'll also be exploring its pros, cons, and everything in between. So buckle up, because by the end of this video, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of whether this Tesla is truly worth a performance upgrade. First, let me just say that I absolutely love this car. The acceleration is insane and it's been incredibly fun to drive. The handling is also top notch and the car feels very planted on the road. I feel confident throwing this crossover around corners and it handles it like a champ. The Tesla Model Y performance has taken my driving experience to a whole new level. I'm talking about an acceleration that can only be described as mind bending for a crossover like this. The rush is something that never gets old. But let's talk about the nitty gritty real quick, the differences in performance aspects. The stuff that quantifies this beast. The long range Model Y takes from 0 to 60 in a respectable 4.8 seconds, but the performance version does it in 3.5 seconds. It's an absolute blast, making this car truly feel like a performance vehicle. I honestly have to say that I noticed a slight difference in 0 to 60, because I've daily driven each of them for a year straight at some point. The performance also has an upgraded top end speed at 155 miles per hour versus 135 miles per hour, but that's not something I personally care about. The performance trim also comes with upgraded brakes that translate that raw power into controlled stops, and also has these imposing 21 inch Uber turbine wheels that add to the visual drama and overall aesthetic. It also comes with a carbon fiber spoiler and matrix LED headlights that pierce through the darkness with an otherworldly glow. Oh, and let's not forget about the slightly lower suspension that plants this ride even closer to the asphalt. Let's dive into the raw numbers of my first 10,000 miles with the Tesla Model Y performance. Here's where the true value of an EV really comes to light, especially when compared to traditional gas-powered vehicles. The day-to-day -day cost of driving the Model Y is where the real savings kick in. Electric vehicles like this one are notably lighter on your wallets when compared to their gas-guzzling counterparts. Over these 10,000 miles, my Model Y performance has consumed a total of 2,773 kilowatt hours of energy. This is at a decent efficiency of 277 watt hours per mile. This looks pretty good, but not nearly as good of an efficiency that I've been able to achieve on my long range Model Y at 244 watt hours per mile. I've kept it super simple and charged exclusively at home. At my electricity rate of 11 cents per kilowatt hour, this means that I spent a total of $305.03 to power my ride for 10,000 miles. Now here's the eye opener. If I were driving a similar price gas vehicle with similar specs, the same distance would have cost me a jaw dropping $2,076.82. My fuel savings from just driving the Model Y performance amount to an impressive $1,771.79. And even if we compare it to a smaller, fuel-efficient contender like the Toyota Camry, I would have spent $1,195 in gas, and I'd still be in the green with a savings of around $889.97. Now let's move on to what's on everyone's mind, maintenance. A lot of people think that maintaining a Tesla is very expensive, and you'd have to spend thousands of dollars on it each year. But that's simply not the case. Actually, let me walk you through the maintenance I have yet to do for this car. Windshield washer fluid top-off. I spent a buck 25 on this gallon of windshield washer fluid from the dollar store. Worst case scenario, I have to purchase two of these, but luckily I ceramic coated my entire car and the water beads off very easily. Oh, and if you're interested in what a ceramic coating is and how to do it yourself to save a couple grand, I made an in-depth video walking through the step-by-steps of it. That video is linked in the description below for you to check out. But seriously, there's no hidden secret stash of cash needed for oil changes, transmission flushes, or spark plug replacements. In a world of Teslas, simplicity reigns supreme. Now tire rotations are a regular thing for most vehicles, right? Well, the performance model comes with a staggered wheel and tire setup, with the front wheels and tires differing in size from the rear ones. This setup makes a classic tire rotation practically off the table. Unless if you rotate them side to side, but there's virtually no benefit in doing so. Now this setup might mean a shorter lifespan for your tires due to uneven wear. You might find yourself replacing them a tad bit sooner than expected. Now here's where the rubber meets the road, quite literally. The instant torque of the Model Y's electric powertrain, especially in the performance trim, translates to an exhilarating driving experience. This raw, ready-to-go power is what makes your tires meet the asphalt with a mixture of excitement and precision. As of now, I have yet to swap out my tires in these 10,000 miles. 
But let's face it, tire longevity is a journey as unique as your driving style. Some Tesla owners report needing new tires around 12,000 to 15,000 miles, while others have stretched it all the way to the 50,000 mile mark. It's all about how you roll, or rather how you accelerate. Now quite literally, your mileage may vary. But overall, compared to internal combustion engine vehicles, Teslas offer a host of advantages. If you've owned a traditional gas car before, you know the drill. Regular oil changes, fuel filter replacements, spark plug changes, and emissions checks, just to name a few. It's a hassle, it's time consuming, and it can get expensive. But with Teslas, you don't have to worry about any of that. That's right, zero traditional maintenance required. The answer is simple, Teslas run on electricity. There is no combustion engine, no oil change, and no emissions to check. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Tesla's regen braking system means that even brake pad replacements are rare. That's because the car captures energy that would normally be lost during braking and converts it into electrical energy that's stored in the battery. As a result, the brake pads, brakes, and rotors experience significantly less wear and tear, which can translate to a longer lifespan and reduce maintenance costs. Time to go over the driving experience. If you've never experienced electric torque, you're in for a wild ride. The instant acceleration off the line is something that you have to feel to believe. And while this performance model is fast, it's worth noting that even the non-performance Model Y delivers a thrilling experience that's leagues ahead of traditional gas-powered cars. But this isn't just about raw power, it's about the finesse of control that comes with it. The handling of the Model Y performance is in a league of its own. Cornering feels like second nature. The way it hugs the pavement, the confidence it instills even when pushing the limits is what makes the performance Model Y stand out from other vehicles in its class. Now the big question, is it worth it? In my opinion, I think it's worth it, especially when comparing it to other vehicles in its class. Actually, I recently made an in-depth video breaking down how much you save when purchasing a Tesla when comparing it to a similar gas vehicle in its class. I'll link that video in the description below for you to check out. But ultimately, I would say it's worth it based off my experience and how my journey has been so far. Let's switch gears for a moment and dive into a topic that's been a pleasant surprise in my year-long journey. Those sleek white seats. Now when I first laid eyes on these white seats, I admit, I had my reservations. White seats in a car? That's practically asking for trouble. But let me tell you, these seats have defied all of my expectations. To maintain their pristine appearance, I avoid using any harsh chemicals or cleaners that might damage or harm the seats. In fact, I made a video demonstrating how to properly clean the white seats, which you can check out in the description below. Typically, if I see any dirt or dye transfer from jeans, I wipe it down with a damp microfiber towel. For those tougher stains, I apply a little more elbow grease or use some baby wipes, and that usually does the trick. Now I want to mention some miscellaneous optional expenses. Over the past year, I've ventured into the world of accessories, enhancements, and protective measures, all in the pursuit of elevating my Tesla experience. I won't go into the specific costs of each of these things, as they can significantly vary depending on the quality of the products and the prices in your area. However, I will say that they're all things I'm happy I purchased, as they've added to the overall enjoyment of my Model Y. I've made a few videos on the best and must-have accessories for both the Model Y and the Model 3, which you can find linked in the description below. I highly recommend watching these videos before ordering any accessories for your Tesla. Also, in the description, I have linked the most popular and useful accessories so you can access them quickly for your convenience. Now let's talk about how my Model Y has transformed over these 10,000 miles. Not just physically, but digitally thanks to the marvel of Tesla's over-the-air software updates. Imagine this, your car getting better with time, just like your smartphone. That's the magic of Tesla's innovation. These updates aren't just about fixing minor glitches, they're also about adding new features. Tesla is able to release these updates because the Model Y is essentially a computer on wheels with sensors, cameras, and other electronics. The software that controls all of these systems can be easily updated via the internet. This allows Tesla to quickly fix any bugs or issues that may arise with the car. Another benefit of over-the-air updates is that Tesla can add new features to the car over time, making it more capable as it ages. I have to say that the Tesla Model Y performance has exceeded my expectations in every way possible, and it's been an absolute blast to drive over these past 10,000 miles. The cost of ownership has been very good as well. If you're considering a Model Y, I highly recommend it. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends and family. Leave your thoughts about the Tesla Model Y in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.